Blessings to everyone. Um, this video is going to be about a rapture dream I recently just had, and it um, I've received an urgency and guidance from the Holy Ghost to speak concerning this dream, and I feel such an urgency in my spirit concerning this dream. But um, but yes, um, I would like to speak about this. So I had a dream where tons of people disappeared off the globe. Lots of people were gone, hallways, empties. I was in a shop, I believe, at the beginning of the dream, and uh, people were gone. They were just gone. They disappeared, and you couldn't see anybody. And I was with my um, earthly father, and we were walking around, and nobody was there. People were gone, like gone, gone. Like there was no one there, and I knew the rapture had happened, but I was still left behind, and people were left behind too. And same with my earthly father. And we were walking about. And then I remember that we went to these homes and secret agents were breaking into homes and everything. And we were just trying to simply survive um, what was going on. And, you know, it went to total mayhem at that point. You saw secret agents invading homes, invading houses, and we were all just trying to survive. And then I remember that it shifts soon after. And then I'm in a like a factory like this weird complex I've seen before in other dreams but it's like nighttime and I'm with these other Christians I believe there's men women and children and we're all talking you know about doing like this mission like this exploit I guess you could say and we were walking around and then we were we entered into this place and we spoke for a little bit I don't remember much of what we said but I remember that we were going to get into this white van they open the door and we were all going to go inside and then it shifts again right as we're getting inside getting ready to leave and it looks like we're heading towards the country towards towards the sunset essentially and um and this time it was a different vehicle it was like an old rusty truck it was an old country truck like an old truck and I think it was orange. I can't really remember the color, but I remember like something orange. If it, it was like rusty, it was like old. It was very old. And we were driving towards the country and you could see the sun and the green pastures and like this farmhouse a little bit. But um, during the dream, like I felt the urgency, you know, of the Holy Ghost and of what's coming. But even during the dream, I still felt calm. Like deep down inside, I knew I had to keep going, that I couldn't give up, that I had to keep following keep pursuing God despite of what had just happened and I was just relatively calm in my dream like I wasn't worried I wasn't screaming I wasn't like in fear for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind and and I was just at calm and at peace and I really believe man we got to get right with God in these last days man because we're not playing anymore any moment God could just rapture us in the blink of an eye the scripture says we'll be gone there were two will be laying in the bed and then one moment one is gone and the other is still there. One moment two people are plowing in the field and one day one, one is still working and one is gone. There will be two women at the mill. One there and the other one has gone. There's coming a day where the believers are going to get raptured off this earth. And we have to repent and get right with God. We have to believe on him and repent and believe on his only son's sacrifice. Because he's coming soon. He's coming soon to rapture his bride, and we have to be ready. We have to be without spot, without wrinkle. You have to be filled with oil. We have to have our lamps filled with oil like the five wise virgins. Let us not be like the five foolish ones who went to go get it, but then the door was shut. And when they knocked, Jesus said, "I." But you didn't know them. Don't let Jesus say that to you. Get to know him today. Seek his word. Read. Seek him. Pray. Be in his presence fast anything just get close to god in these last days trust in god he has your back he loves you he cares for you he wants you to he wants you to be with him in eternity why waste your life on the dust that we currently live upon one day this earth will be nothing this earth will come down don't waste your life pursuing after vain things rather pursue after the things that never perish pursue after one who will never perish. Pursue after eternity. Don't fall into the pit. Let Christ, just grab the hand of Christ today. Believe on him. Repent of your sin. 
Examine yourself. See if you're whether if you're in the faith or not, or if you're just deceiving yourself. Don't be a reprobate. Just please, please take what I'm saying seriously today. Because I know he's coming and I want you to know this today. Whether you're a believer or an unbeliever, lukewarm, anything. I want you to, to just wake up. Wake up, O oh sleeper. It's not time to sleep. It's time to wake up, to engage in conversation and relationship with God. And tell people about God. Tell people about Christ. Tell people about Jesus. We have to do this. You know, he left the 99 to find you. And he wants to use you to find the other people that are lost in this world. He doesn't want you to perish. He wants you to live. He wants you to live. That's what I'm hearing. He just wants you to live. He doesn't want you to die spiritually. We are alive physically, but spiritually we are dead without him. But when we have him, we are alive. So please take what I'm saying seriously this day. Christ is coming soon. Get right with him. The rapture is coming. And he will not delay. He will not delay. He will not delay. I just want you to know that. I feel that so deep. He will not delay. He will come. He will. And we, in the blink of an eye, will be gone. Listen to what I am saying today. Believe on him and repent of your sin. Don't wait any longer. Tomorrow's not promised. Anything could happen in the next hour, in the next minute. He could come right now. He could come in five minutes. But get right with God today. And I'm going to lead into prayer. Oh, Father. Oh, righteous Father. May anybody who comes upon this video, may they feel what I'm feeling today. May they feel the urgency, whether they be lukewarm, whether they still be a believer that has just started or a believer who's been in the faith for a long time or a believer who's fallen asleep spiritually. Lord, wake them up. Show them that we are not playing, that these are the last days, O righteous Father. May they get ready. May we be prepared. May we be like the five wise virgins that had their lamps filled and they were ready and they went into the wedding. So, O righteous Father, I pray that you may move upon the hearts of your people and upon the people that you are calling, the people that are lost. Oh, righteous Father, may this just touch, may this video just touch anybody who sees it and may they grasp and understand the urgency of what is coming because we are almost there. We're just but a step, just a tippy toe away from eternity and from what's coming. Oh, righteous Father, just lead us, just guide us, just strengthen us, help us make it through the day. Be the guide of our footsteps. Let your word be a lamp to our feet. And may we just grow in the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of your word. And help us to know you, O righteous Father. Help us to know you, Jesus. Help us to know you, Holy Spirit. Be our friend. Help us to have a close relationship with you. Help us to know you. Help us to love what you love and hate what you hate. Help us to grow close to you in this time. And help us to make your presence our home. Your presence our place of rest. Your arms our place of comfort. For blessed are those who have take refuge in him. Oh, righteous Father, just lead us and guide us once again. May we, be, may we escape these things. May we be ready so that when it is time at the, at the archangel shout, we'll be ready. That we, you will find us not idle, but busy for you, working on what you want us to. Whatever it may be, whatever our purpose is, oh, Father, help us to find it through you. Use us. Let us be vessels for your glory. Help us to be bold as lions. Help us to not let the fear of man get upon us. Let us not people please, but let us God please. Let us be confident in you and in your promises and in your word. Help us to trust you with all our heart, mind, and soul and love you all the same. With all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, all our strength. And help us to love our neighbor as ourselves. And help us to bear fruit so that people may see Christ is with us, that Christ is in us, that we are not deceiving ourselves, saying we're Christians, but that we may be full of the Holy Ghost with spiritual fruit. Lead us and guide us, O righteous Father, in your ways. Help us never to err. Expose our hearts. Show us what's wrong. Show us if there be any resentment, 
God forbid there be any hatred. Anything, Father. Help us just cleanse us, create a clean heart in us, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Purify our hearts, renew our spirits, bring rest to our souls, and keep us safe from the enemy. And teach us to, to warfare with this word, with this sword, with this sword that is called the sword of the spirit, which is the Bible, the word of God. Help us to remember and memorize and apply your truth to our life and use us to, br to bring people out of darkness into light. Because it is only you who does it through us, not anybody else. We are just but vessels. Use us, O oh Lord God. Hear us when we call. Make us ready. Prepare us. Help us to be a bride without wrinkle and spot. Help us to be your sons and your daughters and be led by you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I pray that you wake up, that you believe on him and repent of your sin and awake, sleeper, awake, because it is time. He's coming. And I pray that you be ready in Jesus Christ's holy name.